All right, today I'm making the mane and tail of each of the horse is, <laughs> as in plural. And uh, I dug a trench. Let me show you in a second here. I dug a trench in the back of the neck of the horse so that I could uh, put my mane in it. And I'm making the mane out of uh, uh, Super Sculpty because uh, it gets hard uh, and, uh, and holds its shape better than uh, plastiline clay, this uh, J-Mac clay that I use. And... Uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to do it on both horses. Now I'm making a thin piece of clay that will run the full length of the back of the neck of the horse because I want to have something to attach the uh, main structure to. And... Uh, let me get this out of the way. Now, I'm not certain how I'm going to do this yet. This is a new method for me. I'm going to try it the old way that I usually do it, but uh, we'll see if that works out or not. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm heating up the bottom of my main that I'm adding. And then attaching it to the uh, base. That way it should stay right where I put it. That's the theory. I don't want to make it too complicated because then it'd be costing a hell of a lot of money to cast. I've never tried this before, not with Super Sculpty, so I don't know how this is going to work. All right, I just took photographs of uh, what I'm doing on the main to the uh, foundry to just check with them to see if this is going to be a problem making a mold of, and so far they said not really. Okay. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. I knocked his ear. Okay. This can probably raise the cost of producing this bronze about five or six hundred dollars. I'm just guessing. But I think it's worth it. I'm trying to reflect the movement of the two horses and the effect it has on their mane that's uh, falling off their neck. Okay, I'm just checking the length of the ear and make sure I get the same length on both ears, and it looks like I got it. So.
All right, I'm gonna paint the mane. This has no effect on the casting. It's just to take away questions from people who will view it when it's shown as a clay as to what that material is that uh, is a different color. I came up with this technique about 20 years ago, maybe 30. And uh, it's uh, really works. All right, I'm starting a tail. Tails of the two horses. And again, I'm going to use uh, Super Sculpty because it holds a shape. Okay, that's the base for the detailing. I'm sorry my hands are in the way, but nothing I can do about that. All right, the last thing I'm going to do today is paint the tail. Now, I'm going to come down tomorrow before uh, the fellow comes here to pick up the clays that he's going to be taking to Las Vegas. And I'm going to go over all the clays that he's taking. There's two of them, this one and the uh, Indian girl. And I'm going to make sure that everything is just perfect. So I'm going to be down here early in the morning to do that. I'm not going to record that. In fact, I'm probably going to take the rest of the week off. This has been a stressful couple of weeks. And uh, I want to decide what I'm going to do next. I'm going to be watching movies, reading books, trying to get inspired. All right, battling for dominance is finished. Finally. Well, I've got some things to do when the piece comes back from Las Vegas, but not too much. And uh, if I do sell a couple, I'll... Uh, do a little more work on it to, uh, to get it ready for the foundry. Probably about another day or two's work. I'll see you sometime next week. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos. That could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.